A news just coming in. 13 presidential nominees have been cleared to contest the 2024 polls. Key names disqualified by the Electoral Commission includes the PNC's Bernard Mona and the Progressive People Party's Kofi Asamoah-Sian. Let's run you through details of a statement as issued by the Electoral Commission. It will be accompanied really on your screens this afternoon by pictures of the individuals who've been uh, marked as qualified, 13 out of the 24. The flag bearer of the NPP, Dr. Mohamedou Baumia, uh, has been cleared as well. John Dramani Mahama, we know as well that um, Dr. Hassan Ayariga, he's been cleared as well. Then Christian Kwabena Andrews of Ghana Union Movement been cleared as well. Percival Kofiak Balu, he has been cleared as well. And I'll run you through the names of the other individuals. George Chum Berimaidu, an independent candidate, has been cleared. Daniel Augustus Latte Jr. of the Great Consolidated Popular Party, he's been cleared. A name that will resonate with a lot of young people, Nana Kwame Bediaku of the New Force, but pair uh, what the Electoral Commission is working with, an independent candidate, Ekuya Donko of the Ghana Freedom Party, uh, Hassan Ayariga, who we've mentioned already, Mohamed Frimpong of the National Democratic Party as well has been cleared, Nana Kosia Frimponga of the Convention People's Party, the CPP, has been cleared, and... Kofi Kranti, who is also an independent candidate, has been cleared by the Electoral Commission. That's just the news that's coming through. And we mentioned a big name, uh, the PNC's Bernard Mona, has failed to make the cut out of the 24 which filed successfully their nominations. Bernard Mona did not make it. We get the indication this afternoon uh, that we can speak to him any uh, moment from now in relation to what he's making of that particular decision by the Electoral Commission. Ms. Mona, if you can hear us, many thanks for speaking to us. Um, has it come to you really as a surprise, the, the, the decision by the Electoral Commission to have cut your legs in your bid to be president? Terrible afternoon, but um, you can be assured that I am a fighter and I'll fight till the end. I will not accept this kind of disrespect and we will not accept the fact that the Electoral Commission mm. does not want to play according to the rules. The Electoral Commission received our form on the 13th of September. By 12th, we have submitted our nomination form and you captured the event. At 6.35 a.m. on Saturday, I got a call from one Samuel Pa. I don't know him. And he said he had sent me a letter from the Electoral Commission that there were some anomalies with our form. Mm. I counted about seven different pages that the Electoral Commission claimed that we have some anomalies. I immediately sent that the form should be picked in accordance with the Electoral Commission directives, and the forms were completed on the Saturday and returned. Mr. Kwao called to confirm that our forms had been rectified and returned to them. Mm. I have been waiting patiently, printing my materials and things, spending a whole lot, urging my parliamentary candidates across the country. If you go around, you will see that my parliamentary candidates and everything has been printed. Then, yesterday night, I received a call from a close friend telling me that the EC said we have problems with our form. And I said, we'll rectify those issues on Saturday and the 10th to the Electoral Commission. So we have no problem. And then later, somebody said that I participated in the NDC protest. And I said, I agree with the NDC on the substance of the matter, but I refused to participate because the NDC did not involve that. They said it was an NDC, uh, enough is enough, and I am not, and the PNC is not. So we did not participate. Right. But assuming that we even participated, it cannot constitute a basis upon which our name will not be on the voters and the ballot. Mr. Wana, so is, is it the case that you're being... 
I have already asked my lawyers, mm. Atukuba and associates, they have written to the Electoral Commission. In fact, we, when, when we, we heard that, we saw some other political parties' letters calling for the coming for balloting today. I notified my lawyer, and they written to the Electoral Commission to find out how come that we have not written. We have not been written to. And so be assured that we will take up this matter to the end. We are talking about an electoral commission that has not provided a final register. And mm. is there wanting to say that some people are not qualified? So you weren't officially communicated to by the electoral commission as to why you did not make the cut? As, as we speak, you should call the electoral commission. This morning, I called Jean Mensa three times. I called Samuel Tete, whose signature is on the release that I have getting. Mm. I called Dr. Bosman, and Dr. Bosman told me that, yes, the committee is still working on, and that those that they release their letters, they have sent. I am aware of some other candidates who are on the ballot whose letters were not given. So Bosman told me that he was going to the office, and when he gets there, he will revert. I've been calling him since, and I've not received any call from him, or he has not returned my call, only for us to see this Bogos released from the Electoral Commission. And so what, what, what could be your, your possible suspicions? Because you mentioned that no official communication has been given to you. Possibly, what are you, are you thinking is the basis for which reason the Electoral Commission has decided not to include you in this list, this final list? Well, it is, it is not for me to have any suspicions at mm. this material moment. It is for me to ensure that our right to contest the 2024 elections is guaranteed and given. And that is what myself, my lawyers, and any other means we will use to get ourselves to contest the elections, we will do. The electoral process is not just coming to submit us. It takes heart, it takes mind, it takes resources, it takes everything. The process of coming to do this is just one of the minute things that we have to do. And so this is a party that was formed in 1992. I'm sure that most of the people at the commission, if you subtract the number of years from 1992 to date, from the IES, they will probably be in JSS. And so this party has participated and shaped the political will of the people of Ghana from 1992. And it is not the case that we have not done what we have to do. If the EC had problems, and then they drew our attention and ratified those problems. What could then be the basis upon which we are not on the, 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 the qualified list? Mm. My final question is, if the EC has uh, served notice of receipt of the letter from, from your lawyers and the course of action you're seeking to take? Come again. Has the EC uh, notified you of the fact that they've received the, the, the letter from your lawyers seeking to question the basis for your disqualification? Do not you know? Yet. Not as I speak to you. Right then. Uh, Ms. Amona, I'm sure we'll follow up this subject matter and get a bit more from the Electoral Commission as well, who this afternoon have disqualified Bernard Mona of the People's National Convention. And you've heard him uh, speak clearly and state emphatically that it's a decision he's going to challenge and one that he's already asked his lawyers to write to the commission seeking to explain to him why he's been disqualified because there was an instance where he was called upon by one member of the electoral commission about anomalies over his forms the anomalies were corrected and returned to the electoral commission hence he doesn't know the basis upon which uh, the electoral commission has disqualified him but that's just the latest that's coming through here on your election command center